Simeon and just got a little carried away while I was waiting to uh, start recording. It's time to step back into the Real Samples collection of beautiful historical instruments. And this time we're going to take a look at the 1755 Dutch harpsichord. Amazing instruments, so come along. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back, and this is Simeon from praisetracks.com, and I always learn something when I take a look at uh, one of these historical instruments, and this one in particular is very interesting. Uh, it was built in 1755 by Danielle Dalkin in Antwerp, and Antwerp back in 1755 was a part of the Netherlands, and it's just such a beautiful instrument. Um, we're going to just take a look at some of the detail and listen to it, of course. Uh, this one in particular has three stops. It has uh, two manuals, actually. It has an upper manual and a lower manual, and each of those have their own eight-foot stops. And then there is a four-foot stop, and those four-foot stops always give an extra little sparkle and shine uh, to the instruments. So let's just dive right in. And you know, you need the full version of contact for these instruments. They come as contact multis. We have eight note variations for every note down, except for the four foot stop, it has uh, four variations. And then for the key releases, uh, this is the 2D stop. And 2D is like another word for all. So we're hearing both eight foot stops and the four foot stop. And you can see I've got it loaded here in my quick load, so it just makes it easy to get uh, to get to. And you can see we've got two NKIs kind of stacked on top of each other. So you've got the note on, and then the note releases. And so each time you play a note, for each key, there are different uh, note variations, eight note variations for the eight foot stops, and four note variations again for the four foot stop. And you can see that bottom NKI just kind of peeking itself in and out. And that is the, um, that's the release samples. Because if we did not have that, because we don't have a sustain pedal and there are no dynamic layers per se in a harpsichord because uh, when you hit the note, it's gonna just trigger the note because there's no uh, dynamics in the hammer like you would normally see in, in a traditional piano forte. Um, and so that's why we have those different stops. And, and because of that, we the variations just keep it from sounding just like uh, da 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 You know, I call it the jackhammer effect. And having all of those stops together and recorded with them all pulled out. Uh, so this is not layered, this is just like recorded all together. It was recorded in Hamburg at the Museum of Art and Industry, and they have a wide collection of uh, harpsichords and architecture and so many cool uh, different things that you can explore. If you ever get in Hamburg, I, I would suggest that would be one stop that I would make. And each harpsichord has, uh, you know, I've played a lot of them. <laughs> I've played a lot of these harpsichords, and each one of them have a very uh, unique sound to them. And so these were recorded at 192, 24-bit, and then downsampled to uh, 44 one Okay, so uh, let's just take a, a, some more listen to the uh, 2D stop. And this is 440, and we'll listen to the other tuning in just a minute. What I like, too, is that we've got the range the range goes up, it goes a little bit lower than some harpsichords that we've seen in the past. Thank you. 
dynamics. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the individual stops. So let's first start with the, um, let's start with the lower eight foot stop. And let's see, here we go. So we're gonna go with the lower eight foot stop. Interesting to hear that by itself. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's the lower eight foot stop. Now let's uh, take a listen to the upper eight foot stop. And you, you see here, uh, because I did down, I did install this in my quick load folder down here. And when you do, it shows up in the, uh, in the quick load menu. So that makes it even faster to get to your sounds. So uh, this is the upper eight foot stop. So we've got all the stops individually and we've got a couple of different combinations uh, of those. So this is the upper. Let's, let's take a listen. I'm, I'm curious to hear what this sounds like. Okay. It's got a little different uh, character to it. I gotta remember I can run out of the keys pretty quick. You know with me when the, the tones and the different feelings just trigger different emotions and cause me to play just uh, in different ways. This seems like it's got a little bit of a brighter tone to it. Okay, and let's uh, go to the four foot stop. Now the four foot stop, uh, the stops kind of uh, designate octaves. And so um, this is like, uh, you know, just an, like an octave higher than the eight foot stop. So um, let's see. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, you know what I was doing? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, let me just let, me just let you hear this. Um, I was actually playing it at the original tuning. Um, and this was 390. You've been listening to me playing in 390 hertz this whole time up to now. Um, and this is the original tuning that the harpsichord was in. And that, that definitely gives it a different character. So let's go to 440. Uh, and that is a little bit what we're used to because uh, I guess I had all the presets here and there's the 440 folder. And, and so let's just take a listen to that upper four foot stop. Um, no, upper eight foot stop in 440. And let's just hear what happens here. Yeah, it just gives it a different tone. Let's go to the lower eight foot stop just for comparison to hear it in uh, 440. Yeah, there's...
what I'm hearing with the lower eight foot stop, it sounds just a little covered, if you will. Uh, some of those overtones uh, that I heard in the upper, it's just a little subtle, a little subtle difference. So let's go to the four foot stop in 440 Hertz. It's kind of cool to have the, uh, the other tunings because it just gives you a perspective of what they were listening to uh, back in 1755. And yeah, 1755, 20, uh, yeah, 22 years, let's see, no, 21 years. <laughs> 21 years before the signing of the Declaration of Independence here in the United States. And that kind of puts it in a totally different perspective for me. When you think about playing an instrument that's over 200 years old, it's really, Kind of crazy. So um, so this is the f four foot stop in 440 hertz. Okay, now listen to this. Just a totally different experience. It's got a beautiful tone quality to it. And lastly, with these, uh, with the presets here, so what we have with this one is that these are layered. So you've got the lower and the upper kind of layered together. So these were not recorded together, recorded separately. So you can create your own uh, your own combinations with that, and that's kind of cool. Then you have the 2D, and then the 2D is everything recorded together, all the stops pulled out and they recorded together. You know, this harpsichord is pretty incredible because these weren't just musical instruments, they were literally works of art. And if you look at the detail and the almost over the top design of this harpsichord, it is just fascinating. And it's interesting because there are, if you look closely inside, is that there's depiction of the children of Israel crossing the Red Sea and Pharaoh and his army just kind of <laughs> being engulfed in the Red Sea. And then you have Abraham and Sarah and Hagar um, and Isaac and Ishmael, of course. And I think that's really interesting all of that detail executed on this instrument, just very, very beautiful. You know, I always like to uh, take these uh, a little bit further. And so I found a new effect from Excite Audio and it's called Motion Dimension. It's got like uh, delays and reverbs and it's got this orb circling magnet type of thing here. And it's really cool. I just kind of played with some of the presets and I thought it would be fun to see what happens if we ran it in with these uh, harpsichords. This is delayed reverb with the four foot stop. And I'm gonna use the sustain pedal just for grins because that's the thing. You have these instruments and you don't have to necessarily play them traditionally um, because that's what takes them even further. I, and just having the ability to appreciate these instruments and just to experiment and explore. So let's explore.
fun. Okay, so let's pull up another stop. <laughs> I love this. I love being able to explore and, and, and have fun with these. You are only limited to your imagination and your creativity. Um, so let's, uh, let's go to the, uh, that upper eight foot stop and I'm gonna pull in another, um, pull in another favorite. I've favorited some of these and um, let's see. So here's Shimmer Verb. You can't go wrong with Shimmer Verb. <laughs> We've got some macro controls here, let's see. Let's see, we can change the time. So I'm gonna change this to like, um, like half notes and just makes it sound so cool. Wow. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Let's keep going. Uh, let's pull up the 2D stop at, uh, and, and remember, I want to go to 440. So now this is the 440 2D stop and, um, wow, in the sky. Let's check out that preset here. That's a huge reverb. And we can adjust the dry and wet. Sets here. Let's go to Moon Glow. Really an interesting effect. And when you pair it with the with the way that they sampled these harpsichords, it's they sample it in such a way um, it is just so pristine that when you put it in effects, it makes it makes it sound so good. pitch shifting. That's wild. <laughs> That's a little wild. Okay, let's go uh, nylon moves. Hmm. Kind of some panning. Let's just try one more. Space pad. There you have it, 1755, fast forward into the future that we have today of being able to explore 
and create so many amazing sounds. Make sure you check out all the links in the description. And I want to thank Real Samples for allowing me to share another joyful journey with their amazing instruments with you. And I'll see you next time. And this is Simeon always reminding you to stay joyful.